Hello and welcome to Space Engineers Programming, Episode 3 with Pilot Error 42. So, in this guide, what I want to do is a little bit of live programming. Um, I've done a little bit of research and I'm going to start doing uh, a couple parts tutorial slash walkthrough um, where we will do some item manipulation. Um, and I want to do that the first part of um, oops, just bringing in a, uh, moving items from one cargo container, cargo container to another. I want to do that live with you. So, first off, I am building a little station here. That should be plenty big. So I'm going to slap down the reactor. I'm going to spawn in some uranium bolts. Plenty of them. Car. So we also need gravity. Oh, okay. I feel much better. So now, in order to, in order to manipulate some cargo containers, we need some cargo containers. So just gonna put two of them next to each other. With and I know I don't need this, but I'm putting a tube between them so that I can then take my programmable block. And put it between them because it looks nice. Uh, later, well, I'll get to that later. Okay, so small two. Got my seat. I sit here. Nobody else is using the station, just me. So, oops, wrong one. First things first. Cargo container on the left. We're going to rename. Uh, Source. Uh, the I got a question in the last video of whether the dollar sign is significant or not. Um, it's not, except that people probably wouldn't use it when actually naming their stuff. So once you use a search algorithm, you're not going to have a problem with oh no, somebody else named their cargo container dollar sign source. And it's really messing things up. It's a relatively unique name. Okay. So, and then we have source and destination. Oh, I don't have an antenna, so that doesn't work. Oh, destination is the one on the left. Or, scratch that and reverse it. Source is the one on the left, destination is the one on the right. And now we're going to go into our programmable block. I'm just going to rename it. Uh, I'm going to start. So inside here, first thing we need to do is get our two cargo containers. Um, the block type that they are, um, they may be the uh, small I, my small cargo container, um, but um, if you use I, my inventory owner, that's the superclass for the cargo containers, uh, as well as the superclass for anything that has any sort of inventory, so your refineries, your connectors, um, your assemblers. Um, and refineries and assemblers actually have two inventories within their block. Uh, but so if we use the inventory owner class, Uh, we can get uh, the level of class that we need that has um, the methods that we're going to need access to. So we're going to go to our grid terminal system, and we're going to get block with name, and it's going to be source. But um, if you notice that get block with name, 
uh, returns an i my terminal block. We need it as an i my inventory owner. So what that to move that down. There. Uh, so what the uh, as my inventory owner does is say um, cast do a do a type conversion on the the object that we got from the get block with name and convert it to an I my inventory owner. But if it's unable to be converted it's not going to throw an exception, it's just going to make it null. Um, that's useful for a, uh, in a variety of scenarios. Um, if you only want to do something, if it is a certain subclass, um, and if it's not, you don't want to have to worry about it, um, you can just do a cast on it and you get a nice null object which you can do all sorts of operations on, then it's, it's not going to, it's just going to return nothing. Uh, so we have our source right there. So we're going to do actually copy, paste. We need the block named dust and destination container. I'm going to check the code real quick. Okay. Save it. So now we have our two uh, containers. But the containers are not the same thing as the inventory. Uh, the inventory is a my inventory, and we're going to grab the source inventory. We do that by taking the source container and calling the get inventory inventory. Now. Get inventory takes a, an integer parameter with the index of the uh, inventory. What this means is that refineries, you can either put a 0 or a 1 in there. Assemblers, you can either put a 0 or a 1 there. Uh, cargo containers and connectors and um, reactors, they can only take a 0. So we're just going to throw a 0 in there. Um, because one of the inventories uh, for example, for the refinery, one inventory can only hold uh, ores, and the other inventory can only hold ingots. In the assembler, one can only hold components, and one can only hold ingots. Uh, that's, uh, they actually did a pretty nice way of separating out the two inventories, um, that it's not too cumbersome. So, we, are, we have the source inventory. So now we're going to get the destination inventory. And we do that the exact same way. So uh, now we want to move everything from the source into the destination. So we're going to check the source and uh, while Uh, it we get items, which returns a uh, returns a type of I my inventory item. Uh, returns a list containing my I my inventory item uh, objects. So we call the lists a property count, and as long as that still has something in it it's greater than zero we want to do something. Should we close our paren, or our brackets, excuse me. So on the source inventory, we want to transfer item to first parameter is the destination inventory. Um, second parameter is the index of the item. Uh, if you notice in your inventory, the, uh, it expands as big as it needs to be until it uh, fills up with volume. Uh, and the top left thing is going to be zero, and the rightmost thing, and it's going to keep uh, going up from that. So we want the very first item. Okay. 
Um, this next parameter, uh, let me look at what exactly it is. I don't actually remember where it is. Goodness. Okay. Um, transfer item two. Ah, target item index. Um, it's the location in which you want to put it. Uh, I'm assuming you can probably have a value from zero up until target item index, target items, uh, or target inventories, uh, total number of items. You either put it at the beginning, at the end, or anywhere in between. Um, in this case, we don't want to specify. So we're going to put null. Um, uh, this next one is stack if possible. Um, if we tell it no, if we, well, if we tell it false, um, it'll just shove this thing at the end, the container. If you tell it stack it, if it already has steel plates and we transfer in some steel plates, the stack of steel plates will get bigger. Uh, in this case, we, we do. It's just, yeah. Um, and the final is the amount. Um, now, it is actually a... Uh, nullable my fixed point. Um, now my fixed point. Um, so you, we can actually let's say we want to transfer over ten of each item. We can do that by casting the number ten as a my fixed point. But it doesn't know which. Ex I'll show you what happens when you do that. Mm, it doesn't know what it is. Um, so we have to tell it it is a v rage dot my fix point. I know it will work. But in this case, we're moving everything over. So we can just leave that null. And you don't check the code. Remember an exit. Okay. So that should be it if I've done this all correctly, which I believe I have. So we're going to test that by taking out ooh, save as I press delete. Kind of that. I'm going to split it in half. And in our source, we're going to put 5. 5. So let's see what happens when we hit run. On your butts. So we hit run. Now, in our destination, we have 10 in one stack. Hooray! It works! So, um, it's actually a, a cool way of emptying out a container um, and putting it in, putting it all into another container. Um, if, for, if, uh, we would want to, um, let's say, have a deposit box, as it were, which is the, the where you always put your items, but they don't stay there, because maybe it's a small cargo container um, that leads to everything else. So you want to be able to just op go right up to a uh, certain location and just double-click, 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 double-click. Um, a way that you could do that and make sure that the uh, thing you're putting all your items into uh, let's see here, doesn't fill up is by doing something like this. The delay to be maybe two seconds. So every two seconds, this is going to run that script. So let's say we take out. Oh, ooh, that's not the right button. Take out one of these uranium, and then we just go ahead and slap it on into source. Two seconds later, boom, it's in destination. That'll work with anything you put in it, stackable or unstackable. So there, that was the first step. Uh, we will use um, 
bunch of these concepts to get a bit, get, well, actually, my plan is to get a lot more complicated. Uh, you'll just have to wait and see what exactly we're going to be doing with it. But until such a time, my name is Pilot Area 42, and I will see y'all next time. Goodbye! Oh, and I forgot to mention, uh, this platform will be up in the workshop. Alright, bye for real. Woo!